and welcome to another episode of the Alter Your Health podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Benjamin Alter, and this is your source, as always, for inspiration and inspiration to promote the holistic transformation of your health and the health of our planet. And I'm Dr. Susanna Alter. We're here with Winnie. We're here with our other co-host of the day. <laughs> Winnie. Winnie. She's in her uh, her adventure backpack right now and is wanting to get out and explore the beach. But so if you guys can tolerate a little meowing in the background, hopefully <laughs> she'll hope, hopefully she'll settle. But we'll give you a little look at where we're tuning in from today. Pretty beautiful setting on Cortez Island in British Columbia. Um, just chilling at the beach, enjoying the sunshine and the ocean, and yeah, the setting to uh, check in and touch base and fill you in, our listeners, into what's going on in our life. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Dr. Susanna, would you like to sh start off by, uh, you know, filling in people what we're doing here? <laughs> sure. Well, so I, I guess it was about. Four days ago, we packed up our house, we moved out, we uh, cleaned the entire house and and got rid of the majority of our belongings so that we could take off in our... You're in the shade. Oh, I know, but it's so bright. So that we could take off in our sprinter van for a six-week adventure um, driving around Canada and northern uh, the northern U.S. And also, <laughs> hi Ellen, and Wendy says hello back. <laughs> but um, our first stop is here on Cortez Island, which is in the Gulf Islands off the coast of British Columbia. And um, but maybe we should take a step back and talk about I think why we take a step back. why we decided <laughs> to go on this journey. <laughs> yeah, well, I think um, you know from my point of view, we decided to go on this journey for a number of reasons. One was to kind of um, have a little bit of an adventure and and uh, practice living on the go and still maintaining a connection like this and seeing clients and patients via the telehealth uh, video conferencing that we provide. Um, you know, doing that and also Susanna and I, we've been kind of wondering where our home is for the better part of the year and we've kind of been totally unsure where we want to plant ourselves on this physical world this beautiful world and we we um, took that to mean our indecisiveness in terms of where our physical home was we took that to mean that it's time to explore and not really have one physical home so we've uh, we've embraced that next that as our next step in our own journey, and this is our first stop for um, for a number of reasons. I think we were both called to to revisit Cortez Island, which we both visited about three years ago. Suzanne and I rode our bicycles up here, where we got immersed into the island life and kind of fell in love. And we thought, wow, we we should give it another visit. And I don't know what your experience is, Susanna, but when when we landed this time around, I just had such a a similar um, similar feeling of just being embraced by the nature that this island uh, provides, or this island really is. It's just like such a dense, uh, beautiful, natural surrounding, you know, with old growth forests and beautiful beaches. And yeah. beautiful people so well, yeah and well I feel like what I really want to emphasize uh, about our journey is um, how both Benjamin and I we've really um, we've been talking about this idea of surrendering a lot um, because for a while it really did seem like we were trying to force our next home we traveled to Colorado thinking like, oh, this is it. And when we got there, just being, being around in Colorado, it just didn't, it didn't fit. It wasn't a good fit. 
we went to Detroit where I'm originally from thinking like, oh yes, this is perfect. The next up and coming mm. city, they need naturopathic doctors. Um, and as much as we wanted it to work out, it just also didn't feel like home. And we drove all up and down the coast of California thinking like, oh, well, it's just got to be California. And um, nope, still yeah. didn't find that home. And so rather than continuing to just force, um, and actually I'm gonna surrender right now and let Winnie explore a little bit because. <laughs> <laughs> she's she, on a leash, so. She's on a leash. But, um, but right, yeah, we'll get him, Winnie. I just feel like, I feel like, um, yeah, this, this next phase of our lives is really about surrendering to what is and just going, going with the flow, following our heart and, um, you yeah. know, just really being in acceptance with what is and what, what we're feeling. Yeah. And it's funny because, uh, you know, on the topic of following our heart, which is something that, I don't know, it's like such a cliche, cliche phrase in many ways. Um, but I realized on in such subtle little ways, I don't follow my heart sometimes. Like, for, for example, today, I part of me wanted to continue our regular content of this podcast and... Um, the, you know, the next thing that we were going to talk about is on the, down the down the vein of nutrition is protein, and we were going to dive in and talk about protein and all. You know, that's super fun and important and everything, but but it's like I don't really want to talk about protein today. That's not really what's present for me. What's present <laughs> is just where I am here now. And um, sure, we love we love talking about protein and kind of the myths that exist around that. But right now what's present I think for for both of us is just where we're at in our life and we're wanting to kind of share that and also learn you know I know I want to deepen my like you were saying Suzanne I want to deepen my experience of surrender and trust mm -hmm. and you know the, that isn't separate from being healthy you know surrendering and trusting is very much they're very much qualities that support health and well-being you know, of, of course, mentally and emotionally in that world, but also surrendering and trusting physical health. Mm -hmm. For example, Susanna, you just <sighs> last week, you had um, kind of a scary infection, like a skin infection on your back. And, yeah. And you had a hard time surrendering and trusting that everything was okay. And, oh my gosh, it was so hard. <laughs> yeah. And just when it, you know, on regardless of how minute and minuscule symptoms might be um, it's important surrendering and trusting is important for our physical health so oh Winnie I'm just, <laughs> we're just watching Winnie oh dear Winnie oh you're She's, so sweet are yeah. you gonna get a comfy spot Winnie <laughs> So, um, um, but actually what's, what's great. I, I feel like I had, um, another skin experience of surrendering this week oh, yeah. when I, um, it was the first day of our road trip and I woke up and noticed red spots all over my body. And I was thinking, oh dear, what is this? Some kind yeah. of viral rash that's happening. And I had no idea what it was. Um, but at that same time, we were reading a book called Letting Go by sure. David Hawkins, which is all about um, letting go and, and surrendering to whatever feelings you're feeling or whether those are emotions or whether those are physical feelings that you're feeling in your body. And I, you know, would go through these waves of feeling freaked out about what I was experiencing in my body. and. You know, I would go into these spirals of thinking like, oh my gosh, what if this is like some crazy start of some viral infection and we're going to have to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and, and it's spiraling down that potential yeah. rabbit hole. Yeah, but rather than being like, no, Susanna, don't do that. Don't think that way. I just kind of like let myself feel that. And then I also just like let it go when it was, when it had moved through me. And um, yeah, and a few days later, the spots are gone. They're gone, whatever they were. So, um, so that was a great kind of um, 
exercise for letting go and surrendering. And yeah, I just feel like um, there's just opportunities left and right to practice that. I mean, the first day we were here on Cortez Island, we were just like, oh, sopped in. Is that the expression, sopped in? Well, there's, if, if the, those of you who don't know, I guess there's something like 115 wildfires in in uh, the Pacific Northwest and British Columbia. And, and, you know, Cortez Island isn't on fire, but it seemed like every, all the surrounding places were on fire and it was just so smoky and we're like, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, and we kind of, yeah, we were like, all right, well, we're here. Um, and I know I was, you know, part of me was like, well, shoot, I don't really want to be here mm -hmm. if, um, if we're just going to be all smoked out. Mm -hmm. But, um, hey, like, it is what it is. And, you Let's know. Let's just play it by ear and yeah, see what our heart says. And exactly. We're like, all right, we don't need to be, we don't need to be here. We can leave whenever, but we're here. Yeah. And the next morning, you know, it was clear, mm -hmm. more or less. Yeah. And obviously, like, I don't think that surrendering means that what you're surrendering to is just gonna miraculously <laughs> dissolve and like blow over literally the next moment but obviously within the concept of surrender is an attachment which is probably the most difficult practice for humans mm -hmm. because we're I think we're kind of um, it's in our DNA it's in our genetic code to just be attached to the physical world and everything that is that is in our physical experience we just latch on as a whatever mechanism but there's a healthy level of unattachment that I think it's kind of like a practice mm -hmm. and these little things whether it's spots on your body or smoke in the air or letting wind or you... a meowing kitty <laughs> And Look now, at that. She, now she's very happy. She's found a shady <laughs> spot to sit in. Yeah, we just, yeah, anyways, you get the idea. We're constantly uh, entering in this new practice of surrender, which I, I guess is not a new thing, but it's just like a, a deepening. Yes. A deepening. Certainly. So that's where we're at. Yeah, and I feel like, Ben, it's, I'd also love for you to share a little bit about uh, your experience, how how you decided to step away from your role working in the clinic in the Bay oh, Area yeah. and um, opening Alter Health. For sure. Because well, that, that, I feel like is it in... Another example. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, when I finished medical school, I had it in my mind that I needed to do something that resembled a proper clinical uh, job. So I was presented with plenty of opportunities to step into that, and one of which really resonated. And it, you know, it's still, uh, I'm still so grateful for my wonderful experience down there in the San Francisco Bay Area working in the clinic. Um, but it, but there it had like an undertone of obligation, not necessarily feeling obliged to my employers or anything like that, but it, an obligation that in order to gain the proper life experience or clinical experience or you know, whatever I whatever that was whatever that thought was in order to you know gain that I needed to put myself into you know an orthodox role as a physician and I did that and it felt fine and I really enjoyed it um, but I kind of just had this wake-up call of like, well, I know I'm putting in these hours and getting this experience, but it's not really what I want to be doing. Um, you know, it, and it really clicked that what I wanted to be doing was, um, you know, connecting with people more broadly um, via telemedicine and not being held down to any physical location. And I didn't need any ounce of experience more than I had already received in my 30 years of education to, you know, to make it okay to take that step and go out on my own and start mm -hmm. my own business. Mm -hmm. You know, that I, there were no more credentials that I needed to receive in the world in order to 
qualify my whatever it was that I was trying <laughs> to validate. Um, so yeah, I, you know, after consulting with Susanna and kind of... Uh, I was so relieved to hear him say that. <laughs> yeah, and at the same time, it's obviously for any entrepreneur or anyone taking on a, a new project in life that that requires a total shift of energy, a total shift of focus, there's absolutely a level of trust and surrender involved. And I mm -hmm. feel like, you know, the, the paradoxical thing is that the more I trust, let go and surrender once again, the easier things are. And also like, you know, the more people, the more my world responds, the more the universe responds to meet my surrender. Mm. So I think for the first couple months of Alter Health, I was it was I was very rigid. I was I wasn't very trusting. I was going through the motions and doing everything that I thought that I needed to do. But it wasn't until maybe the last month really where I just relaxed into the process. Mm -hmm and um, in doing so just trusted deeply that I am where I'm supposed to be. I am on the path that feels true to who I am. You know, once again, back to that idea of following my heart. And I know, you know, it sounds really cheesy, but I know that I will never be led astray in, in continuing to follow my heart. <laughs> so hmm. that's why we're here. That's, why, <laughs> that's we're why we're here on the beach. That's why we're here on Cortez Island. Uh, that's why we're connecting with you. That's why we're sharing the story. It's just a continual process of following our heart and sharing sharing what we find with the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that, Ben. Yeah, and um, so in terms of this <laughs> podcast, um, <laughs> We are surrendering. We're gonna, I'm going, definitely intend to continue to have the weekly episodes of the uh, longer interviews that are an hour long, give or take. And then our live episodes, we've kind of surrendered to the idea of just being in the flow of what's present. And very, and very likely we, we will dive into some, some you know, nitty gritty details of health and healing and sharing our own experiences with that and that sort of thing. But along the way, we're definitely going to stay, stay authentic to our heart, mm -hmm. trust our heart and share that with you. So if we find ourselves on a, on a beach or in the woods, and if we've got a good <laughs> internet connection, like we miraculously do at the moment, then, uh, we'll, we'll take advantage of these Thursday, you, you know weekly thursday live on mm -hmm. facebook so those those of you who are listening in on the podcast of course we do record these live on facebook every thursday at noon pacific time so but yeah and i think a big uh reason why we're also um you know okay with this kind of being a little more flexible with with the podcast is because our our lives the the two of us i mean if if you were a fly on the wall in our lives i mean we're we're usually talking about something related to right. health whether it is in the point. you know physical realm or the mental or the spiritual realm and so it's just such a big part of our lives we figured that you know whatever we do feel called to share will be relevant in some way to just what what we do and what we always do and yeah. and all the topics that we love on alter health so totally totally yeah. that's thank you for reminding me of that so yeah this even if we are sitting here and talking to you for a half hour about protein it's because we really are authentically inspired to do so it's not like <laughs> oh we got to educate these you know people about the, what to do with protein mm -hmm. so it's all you know, rooted deeply in authenticity, and we intend to keep it that way for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> on that note, maybe we'll... How um, long has it been? I don't know. I think it's hard to tell, so... It is hard to tell. <laughs> the art screen is really kind of blurred out. We've got the sun in our face, and it's really, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like 73 degrees, ocean breeze. Winnie's on the move. Winnie's on the move. We got 
be, yeah, for those of you who don't have the visual, um, we've got just old growth forest behind us, islands in front of us, waves crashing. It's pretty awesome. And for those of you who are on Facebook, we'll just leave you with one more little panoramic shot. <laughs> Where's Winnie? Winnie's getting tangled in the driftwood. All right, yeah, we're sitting in the <laughs> driftwood and Winnie's enjoying the jungle gym. Mm. All right, well, that's it for, uh, for this week and we look forward to sharing with you wherever we're at in the world next week. Mm. If anyone's interested in following oh, the yeah. adventures of a van cat. <laughs> <laughs> and a van family. And a van family. We're starting to post a lot more photos of van life. An adventure kitty. <laughs> on Instagram footage. mainly. On, on Instagram mainly. So, so at so yeah at Dr. Benjamin Alter at Dr. Susanna Alter. Yeah. And obviously tune in, um, to, you know, for more on the podcast and everything. Alter Health slash podcast. And that's it for now. Bye bye. Peace and love. Until next time. Yeah.